I can do a little bit of sketching just to give you a teaser for what's going to come in the future. But um, if you can see these lines here, these little lines, I didn't draw in the heel because it's a very specific heel. And I like to give myself a little bit of freedom if I wanted, like, let's say I wanted to do a block heel. This line at least shows me where I should stop and where the kind of center should be. Okay, so let's say I want to change the toe of this one to be a little pointy. So usually a pointy toe extends a bit further than a normal toe would. Okay, so you can see on that one. Now let's see, for this one, let's say I wanted to do more of a uh, square toe. That's easy. You just kind of do this. Oh, excuse me, sorry. You just kind of do something like this. I was looking more at my paper than the video, I'm sorry. Okay, so this one we'll keep as is, okay? So I think for, for a pointy toe like this, we should probably do some kind of kick-ass like stiletto heel, right? And I think it should be kind of just come straight down like that. So at least I have this line to show me when I should stop, okay? Again, I'm going to be looking at the paper, so I'll try to hold it as still as I can. Just kind of do a guideline there, right? And then let's say I wanted to do some kind of like sharp angle here. Okay, so that's a good start to where you're going to go. Now I see here that the heel's kind of sitting over the edge of the, the foot heel is sitting over the edge of the shoe heel. So I'm just going to kind of fix that up a little bit. That's easy, right? Okay, so let's say for this square heel, we should do like a blocky kind of heel, I think. So again, I'll try to be as straight with the video as I can. So again, this is just about getting getting your ideas out, trying to make a light line with your pencil, and then you can go back over it with marker afterwards. So uh, then for this one, hmm, what should we do? Let's do let's do a wedge. All right. So we'll do some kind of curvy wedge because I've seen a lot of those recently, like Alexander McQueen. something like that. Okay, so those are the three. I'm going to ink them in and then we'll get right back to you. So as you can see from this foot template, I can make an infinite amount of different styles as long as they're all the same height. So I can do different toe shapes, I can do different heels and wedges. I could add a platform if I wanted. I can show you how to do that a little bit later. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you for tutorial three, which is actual sketching of the shoe.